Hello yogis, thank you so much for tuning into this video today. So we have a lovely flow today which is going to be a nice energetic flow, um, getting that heart rate up a little bit, um, a really good flow to start your day with. After we've warmed up, after we've really warmed those muscles up, um, we're just going to push the tempo a bit and you'll find we're going to go um, quite deep into the hips as well, open them up for the day, especially if you're going to be sat at a desk all day. So I hope you enjoy this. Um, intermediate and advanced yogis will be very, very familiar with all of the poses here. If you are a beginner, I'll always give an option to take a less intense version of the pose. But as always, yogis, listen to your own body. Don't just copy, emulate um, my actions. Tune into your own body. See how you are feeling today and what you want from your practice. So when you are ready, finding your comfortable seat, whatever that is for you, um, it can be sat on your knees like this, sat cross-legged or maybe with your legs out in front. The most important thing is that you're not slumping through the lower spine there, you're really making a conscious effort to lift through the spine, relax off those shoulders as well and just relax the hands, find a comfortable place for them, there's no right or wrong here and gently close off the eyes. We'll just take a few moments just to settle in here before we get going. So just send in your awareness to your breath. We're not doing anything crazy here for the moment, just breathing at your normal comfortable pace, your normal comfortable depth, the breath that feels most comfortable for you. Nice inhale and nice exhales there. Just keeping all parts of the body nice and relaxed. Don't hold any tension anywhere. This is always a great time to tune into the body. Just tune in, how is it feeling today? Any injuries, any aches and pains? Or maybe you're feeling super energized and raring. Just tune in, acknowledge how it feels. And adjust your practice accordingly. A few more moments of nice, quiet breathing here. And gently opening up the eyes. So we're going to take nice, slow, controlled head rotations. So we'll take two to the right and two to the left, or two clockwise, two anti-clockwise. Nice controlled movement, just working into the neck there. If you've just woken up, you'll need this after a long sleep. And also maybe if you've been at work and you've been slumped over a desk, this is a lovely one, just to release that tension that builds up there. Such a simple movement but so good. And back to centre, we're going to send our gaze to the right. Coming back through centre, sending it to the left. back through centre, send our gaze to the sky if you're outside, to the ceiling if you're inside and back down to the mat. Back through centre, this time taking a tilt to the right and a tilt to the left. Lovely, just working into the neck there. And back to centre, so with a big inhale going to send our arms up above a nice stretch really lengthen those fingertips up as you can feeling that down the sides on the exhale we'll plant the right hand down and we'll send our left hand towards the left so your choice here maybe you can maybe you want to be upon your fingertips this is the least intense version of the pose maybe you're going to have a flat palm or maybe 
This is easier if you cross legs, you're gonna be down with your elbow on the mat too. Trying not to come forward here, trying to really feel that side stretch. Nice deep breaths as we hold this, opening into the left side body here. Inhale, swooping those arms up again, growing, really lengthening through the spine and exhale, we'll plant the left hand and stretch through that right side. Again, choosing your options, fingertips, flat palm or elbow, wherever you are today, take your option. Nice deep breath as always. And gently back to center. So taking a big inhale here, really imagine you're being picked up by the crown and you're really growing tall through the spine there. So we're really lengthening through the spine. Nice inhale. On the exhale, we'll plant the left hand on the right thigh or knee, depending where you're sat and where it feels comfortable. And we'll twist our body towards the right, using our right hand behind to support us, especially if we're sat cross-legged. And sending the gaze to the right, feeling that lovely spinal twist. Again, if you've not long woken up, this is gonna be a lovely wake up for the spine. Nice deep breaths as you hold. On the inhale, try and find that length in the spine. On the exhale, try and find a little bit more depth. You may not move at all, that's okay. Inhale, finding the length. Exhale, finding a little bit more depth in the pose. If that feels good for you, of course. Nice deep breaths. And unwinding nice and gently back to center, ready to go on the other side. So that lovely long inhale, really lengthening through the spine. Exhale, plant the right hand on the left thigh or maybe on the knee if you're sat cross-legged and swinging that left hand behind to support, sending the gaze to the left, twisting the chest towards the left if you can. Nice deep breaths. And again, inhale to lengthen, exhale to find more depth in the pose. Nice deep breaths. Couple more breaths here. And unwinding back to center. So come into our lovely tabletop position. Just a couple more warm up movements before we get going and flowing. So lovely tabletop, hands stacked below the shoulder, knee below the hip. Fingers spread nice and wide. That's really gonna support you and take the weight. Then we're gonna send the index fingers forward. It just gives that lovely roll of the shoulders to provide that extra stability. So inhale, we're gonna lift the head and chest. We're gonna dip the spine into cow stretch. Exhale, releasing that breath, rounding through the spine, pushing up through the upper back, curling the tailbone under, finding cat stretch. Come back to center there, inhale, send that right arm up and back behind. Opening into the shoulder, exhale, drop that hand again. Inhale, find your cow. Release the breath and find cat stretch, really push rounding through the upper back, tucking that tailbone under. Back through center, inhale, send that left arm up and back, trying to send the gaze to those left fingertips if you can. And exhale, dropping that hand down to the mat. We'll curl our toes under, pushing up and back into the first downward dog. Really finding that lovely, lovely position. Nice length and spine. It does not matter if your legs are straight or bent here. In fact, I encourage you to bend your knees if it means you'll find more length in the spine. It's always, always better to have bent knees and a length and spine rather than straight legs and a round spine. So find that lovely position. Pedal those heels down to the mat, working into those calves. Oh, that feels so good. So good, always so deep and lovely. And we're gonna walk the hands back to the feet here and nice and gently roll the body up Trying to roll vertebrae by vertebrae. Making sure the head is the very last thing to come up. 
and when you're ready stepping back to the top of the mats ready to push the tempo a little bit more so find that lovely strong position feet slightly apart <clears throat> Tucking the tailbone under, make that conscious effort. It really engages everything here. Hands by the side, shoulders rolled back, but nice and relaxed. Inhale, the arms come up, find that length, really growing tall there. Exhale, hands through heart center, bringing the body down through forward fold. Inhale, hands to shins, lifting the head and chest, finding that length there. Exhale, bringing the body down, planting the hands, sending the feet back. So on or off the knees, swooping the chest nice and low, keeping those elbows lovely and close to the body. Nice controlled movement here. And with an inhale, finding baby cobra. Or if it feels good for you, cobra. That's quite deep for the back, so only go in there if it feels good for you. Nice and strong. Nice deep breaths here. Take a big inhale and on the exhale we'll transition on to the knees, curl the toes under and push up and back into downward dog. Stepping the feet in between the hands to find that forward fold. Hands to shins with an inhale, find the length. Exhale, bring the body down, forward fold. Inhale, arms up either side, root to rise, bringing the body all the way back up. Really lengthen at the top and exhale, hands through heart center. Hands by the side, finding that lovely strong position that we talked about, ready to go again. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, find that length in the spine. Exhale, plant the hands, lowering the chest on or off the knees. And again, inhaling up to baby cobra or full cobra. Nice deep breaths here. Nice, strong shoulders. Big inhale, nice and long. Exhale, pushing up and back, transitioning onto the knees, curling the toes under, finding downward dog. Step in the feet, in between the hands at the top of the mat. If you went with the right foot first before, let's go with the left this time. So finding that forward fold. Inhale, find the length, lifting the head and chest. Exhale, bringing the body back down, clasping the hands on the back of the legs. Inhale, hands up either side, bringing the body all the way back up and exhaling, hands through heart center. Hands by the side, ready to go one more time. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale as you plant the hands, send the feet back. Inhale to find baby cobra or full cobra, taking a few breaths here. Before you set off, a nice long inhale and exhale as you transition to find downward dog again. Step in the feet in between the hands, forward fold. Find the length, nice long inhale. Bringing the body back down again, releasing that breath. Arms up either side of the body. Coming up nice and strong. And exhale as you bring the hands through heart center. So just closing the eyes off here, hands to heart center. Just taking a few moments before we go again. Eyes open, hands by the side. Checking with the self, make sure you've got that lovely position, tailbone tucked under, shoulders back, really bringing those shoulder blades together. But nice and relaxed, we don't want them hunched to the ears. Nice and relaxed, nice and strong starting position. So from here, we're gonna to come to a forward fold, rolling our body all the way down to the mat again. We're gonna do it little by little, so starting with the chin, tucked into the chest, and then rolling through each vertebrae with nice controlled movement. Trying to give every vertebrae a chance to be rolled through, to wake up, to release. Nice control, forward fold. Bringing the body down. Okay, when you get to that forward fold, we're gonna plant the hands nice and firmly in the mat and we'll start by sending the right foot back. We're gonna hold it there, nice open lunge. 
Again, you can be on your fingertips or flat palms, whatever feels best for you. Feeling that nice opening in the right hip there. Stay strong. If this is too intense for you, the option is to drop the knee and uncurl the toes. Where you can, try and hold. We're going for that high intensity today. So really engaging that um, right thigh, opening that hip. Lovely, nice deep breaths as always. Okay, we're going to really ground that left hand into the mat. We're going to lift the right hand off the mat, twisting the body towards the right, keeping strong in the legs. Nice deep breaths as always, opening into that right shoulder. Always staying in control of the breath. Big inhale, sending those fingertips up to the ceiling and exhale, planting the hands. This time, if you hadn't already, you can drop the knee, uncurl the toes. And with a big inhale, we'll shift the body weight back, bringing our arms up nice and strong. Exhale, we'll fall, bend at the elbows, finding cactus, really opening into the chest and the shoulders there. Really bringing those shoulder blades together, nice deep breaths. Inhale, arms go back up, reaching up. Exhale, we're gonna twist the body towards the right, sending one arm forward, one arm back. And if you can, send in the gaze to those back fingertips. Nice deep breaths. Keep that tailbone tucked under. Keep those hip flexors engaged. Nice deep breaths. Inhale, bringing the body back through center, the arms back up, and exhale as we twist towards the left this time. Again, trying to send the gaze to those left fingertips. Feeling that lovely opening in the shoulders. Challenging the opening in the hip there, releasing any stagnant energy. Couple more breaths. Inhale back up. On the exhale, we're gonna frame that foot. And again, your choice, you can either stay here, keeping the knee on the mat, or you can come back off the knee and lift onto the toes. One more time, we're gonna lift that right arm up, twisting towards the right there, nice and strong. Nice deep breaths. Inhale, fingertips go towards the ceiling. Exhale, plant that hand into the mat and send that left foot back into downward dog. Pedaling those heels down to the mat here. From here, we're just gonna step the right foot in between the hands. So we've got that lovely open lunge on the left side now. So again, holding that strong position, really engage that thigh, the left quad there. And again, taking the option if you want to, to drop onto the knee at this point, your choice. Your choice, listen to your body. Don't let your ego decide. So here you're either with your knee and the top of your foot on the mat, or you may be on your toes with the knee off your choice. Nice deep breaths, wherever you are, stay lifted in the chest. Feel that lovely deep opening in the left hip. And we're gonna really plant and ground that right hand into the mat as we lift the left hand off the mat, sending the, twisting the chest towards the left as well. Nice deep breaths. Take a big inhale, send those fingertips up as far as we'll go and exhale, planting that hand again. If you were off the knee, you can drop the knee and uncurl the toes. And all together we'll inhale, send our body weight back slightly and bring the arms up, exhale, find cactus, bending at the elbows. Really drawing those shoulder blades in together, lifting the chest, feeling that opening in the shoulders there. Nice deep breaths, nice control breath. Just make a conscious effort to tuck that tailbone a little bit. You really, really feel that in the hip flexor. If that's of course too deep for you, you can stay more relaxed there, but it's a lovely way to get more out of this stretch. Few more breaths here. Inhale, arms reach all the way back up. Exhale, we'll twist towards the left first. One arm forward, one arm back. So right hand forward, left hand back, gaze towards the left fingers. Just check in with your body, has that tailbone untucked itself? If so, make a conscious effort just to, un, just to tuck it again. Nice deep breaths, inhale, back through center. Exhale, twisting towards the right this time. Feel that lovely opening in the shoulders. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, planting the hands, framing the foot. And again, either staying on the knee or coming off the knee, 
and we will plant that right hand into the mat, twisting, lifting that left hand up. Nice deep breaths. Take a big inhale and exhale, drop that hand onto the mat. We'll come up onto the toes at the back and send that right foot back into downward dog. Just embracing downward dog here. Nice pedal of those heels if that feels good. And we're gonna bend at the knees, come into that tabletop position. Again, um, nice strong spread fingers to keep that lovely strong base. We're just gonna walk them away from the body slightly. With an inhale, we'll send that right leg up and back behind. On the exhale, we'll plant the right foot on the outside of the right hand, heel toe it if it doesn't quite get there. Feel that lovely, lovely opening in the hip once again in lizard pose. So, either staying here, maybe you want to stay lifted, that's actually slightly deeper on the hip. So your choice, lifted on the fingertips, flat palms, or walking those fingertips away from the body and just sitting there trying to relax the head into it. Don't just drop the head. Just keep it controlled, but keep it relaxed as well. Nice deep breaths wherever you are. It does not matter where you are. Staying there, holding nice and strong. Send the breath to those hips. Allow them to relax, open, release any stagnant energy there. Always feels so good, a lovely hip opener. It challenges us. Challenge is good, right? Control those lovely deep breaths. Maybe closing off the eyes if that's better for you, if, if you can go more inward that way, if you can just take more control that way, your choice. We'll be here for a few more breaths. So if you walk your fingertips out, you can start walking them back. And when you get to that center line, where the feet are in line with the hands, you can slowly either heel toe, wiggle, 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 that foot back or just send it back. Okay, we're just gonna take a few breaths in child's pose, coming onto the fingertips here just to release those shoulders a little bit. Maybe a few rotations here, a little bit of a wiggle to release that um, tension. A couple more breaths before we go on the left side in lizard. So bringing the body back up once again. Finding that lovely strong position, just walking the hands away from the body slightly. Inhale, sending that left leg back. And exhale, planting that left foot on the outside of the left hand. Lizard pose. Again, staying grounded with those hands firm on the mat. Finding a bit more depth by coming up onto the, um, the fingertips, not the tiptoes, the fingertips. And again, another option to walk them further away from the body for a little bit more depth. Your choice, always listening to your own body. Stay strong in those arms and shoulders. Feel that opening in that right hip. It's definitely doing something in the left hip as well. Or maybe that's just me. <laughs> just tune in to your body here. Your mind might be going a bit wild. It might really challenge you this. I think a lot of us have t um, tight hips. But just use this time to control your breath and just check into your body. So how does it feel? Where are the challenges? Is it in one hip more than the other? If you find your shoulders don't have the strength to keep you up here, is that an area you need to work on? Just check through the body. It'll help keep your mind on the mat here. All the while taking those lovely, lovely, nice, deep breaths. Send those lovely breaths to the hips. Allow those hips to get rid of that stagnant energy. We're always sat down. Our hips get so neglected. Just release, help them release. Couple more breaths here. OK, 
okay if you walked those fingertips out walking them back again coming through that center line and again either sending that foot back or heel toe in the foot back into tabletop and we'll come back to child's pose finding those fingertips again releasing those shoulders dropping the head in your own time planting the hands again lifting the body curling the toes finding downward dog the last downward dog so really go deep into those calves and hamstrings pedal those heels nice and deep from here step jump or walk the feet in between the hands at the top of the mat and gently roll in the body all the way back up. Bring the arms up with it. Inhale. And exhale, hands through heart center. Very nice. So finding your lovely position here, engage the core, tuck that tailbone under, close the eyes here. Let's bring one hand to our chest and one to our belly. And just taking in some nice deep breaths here before we finish the practice. Really focusing on that sensation, that movement of the body, how powerful it is. And all together, just to finish up, we're gonna take a long inhale through the nose. So take that breath nice and long, nice and deep and release it with a big sigh through the mouth. <sighs> One more time, well, twice more, let's go twice more here. Inhale through the nose. Release through the mouth with a sigh. <sighs> and the final time, nice, powerful, deep breaths. Inhale through the nose. And release through the mouth. <sighs> Hands to heart center. Just taking a few more moments here of calm. Just acknowledging that you've taken the time for yourself today. It's really powerful, it's really important, it's necessary. So well done to you, well done for showing up, coming to the mat and taking that time for you. Thank you so much lovelies. Thank you Yogi so so much for tuning into this flow. As always if you liked it do give it a like and do subscribe if you want to see more of this. I'm always open to hearing suggestions and requests for other yoga poses, yoga flows. So do pop a comment below, um, maybe something in particular you want to see. Thank you so much, have an awesome day.